Hey fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story comes from Nigeria. The Code of Conduct Tribunal Chairman Danladi Umar uh, goes viral and it's not for anything wonderful or because he served justice. None of that. Um, he went viral because of a person that filmed him going crazy on this security guard. <laughs> the reason is insane. This guy, okay, let, let me tell you what he did. He came to the small to park his car and go in and he says he wanted maintenance on his phone, whatever. So he tries to park um, at this opening and the security guard tells him, no, this is not available. You can park somewhere else. You cannot park here. So the guy starts insulting him and slapping him and beating him. And this is the code of conduct tribunal main guy, okay? chairman so um after that uh, person saw that so they started recording a lot of people surrounded them trying to help the poor security guard he was a 20 something guy trying to do his job that's his job he tells you not to park park he it's just his job that's his job description so he started beating him and also his security guards came and started attacking this young man. They degraded him, they beat him, they insulted him. And thankfully, half of that was caught on camera. Let me show you a little bit. Oh God, you have lost because your power will not save you. This man. This man is mad. This man is mad. I'm going to go inside your car. Warn yourself. Respect yourself. You are not the most powerful man. They are going to beat you for a year in a place. Enter your car and go. Enter your car. Go, go, go. Let us change up for that. Let us change up. Let us change up for this man. Go! Hey! 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 Go! 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 Hey! Hey! Waka! 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 Go! 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 They will beat you now. I say they will. Not to use your death as not to shoot that shoot. Oh, I wish I get some more score. Yeah, this one mine. Go. You are pressed. Go. They will beat you come out for here. They will beat you come out for here. They will beat you come out for here. Don't lag the gates. 
They will show you better. They don't love the gates. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? They don't love the gates. They will show you better. Who are you? 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 Exactly. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You kind of push the guy there every time. Who are you? Close the gates. 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 Yes, yes, you're not going to Close the gate, close the gate, close the gate. Ah, uh, one well, just one full of him, man. If you see, he has all the power in the world. You got it? I bought one double boy. Go down, look at one round. One down, one down. Ah, uh, they don't break the glass. Eh, good. God bless the person who breaks that glass. Who, who, who is he? Who is he? God bless the person who breaks that glass. Who, who, who is he? Who is he? Ah, uh, they got the beat to be there because you don't carry police come. Ah. Uh, because he's a who are you? Are you feeding? They call him Peter. Eh, is he feeding anybody? Why will he be? Why will he be? Is, he, is he because he's not carrying police come? Is he beating? Is he feeding anybody here? Yeah? Okay, when you are in your zone, you are, you are powerful, you are chief magistrate. It's nobody's business now. Yes, when you are here, you obey the rule here. Who are you? Ah, uh, people who are come here, they go show and pepper. Who are you? See, they don't break that place. They don't break the glass now. So go and go there. Yeah, let them break it very well, sir. They don't break the glass, the back one now. See the glass. They don't break it. Don't No, no, I don't break anything. Because it will be unfair for these people to come and come and nab the guy, they will not do anything. It will be unfair. The guy is a security guy. Huh? They don't carry on now. They don't, that, that, I don't know how they beat them. How they beat them because they don't do police come. Nine people start to throw something. Come from inside your car. They don't come escape. They don't lock the gates. Nine people break the back of your glass. So as you saw, um, these people harassed this young man for doing his job. That's it. That was what he was doing. But the really crazy and insane thing is the fact that the code of conduct main guy chairperson is the one that is doing this to this young man for doing his job you know you can tell that he felt superior like how dare you tell me not to park there do you know who i am do you that's that's what i get that's the vibe i get from this and the fact that he's the person that's supposed to you know be the lawyer there and be the, the the one that is educated and that's supposed to serve the people is doing something ridiculous like this and if it was not for the camera and for this good samaritans recording what he did he would have denied even now after it was caught on camera his pr people came out um and they said he didn't do anything to him um it was other people that beat this guy and they were not with him. It was just such an insane, ridiculous statement that they gave instead of apologizing and compensating this guy. They want to say that this man had nothing to do with what happened to this poor security guard. So these are the people Nigerians should look up to, the people that are the officials, the ministers. If they look down on the people that they're supposed to serve, how can people respect them? How can people give them the authority and actually respect their authority and abide by the law? Why should they if you can't even do what you're supposed to do right? If you can't even be the, the repre the, a good representation for your own role, like that's your job. <laughs> Code of conduct is your job and you're supposed to be the senior lawyer and you do that to, to this young man who was doing his job just because you felt like he did like you know touched your ego or it, it, it just sounds crazy to me and he's still in his job uh, he's not fired he hasn't resigned he's continuing to be the chairman of code, code of conduct and that's it this young man the security guard won't even get his medical bills paid for the attack he has faced and life goes on and 
what are they saying to the next generation? What are they saying to the young people then? Like you are doing a job that you, you're doing your job the right way. Um, you're probably getting paid a penny. And on top of that, this politician that's probably looting and stealing is, is acting a fool and he gets to beat you and you go home with nobody compensating, with nobody saying sorry to you. And this man continues being a chairman. Um, this is really sad and unfortunate and I, I don't get how he still has his job. He shouldn't have that job. He is not the right fit for that job or any other job for that matter. But to be in that role specifically um, is crazy and insane to me in my opinion. Um, anyways guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about uh, this uh, CCT chairman uh the senior lawyer attacking a, a young security man for telling him you can't park here just doing his job let us know down below i am Angel zalal i'm bringing you the story i will see you on the next one bye thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and download the african diaspora news channel app now available on google play and the apple app store